We have the forces of the scourge. So for my oppressors battle group, I have an overseer. Um, we got a stand in here because we don't actually have the overseer model yet, but there's a champion, a uh, command level three, riding in that vehicle and filling out his battle group are two squads of four prowlers, and they are mounted in intruder betas. Then I have two identical vanguard squadrons. Uh, they each have a three-man hunter squadron in a marauder and a three-man reaper squadron in a marauder. Then for my first warrior horde, I have uh, two identical squads with two stands of warriors in intruder alphas. For my second warrior horde, I have a third squad of two stands of warriors in an intruder alpha. Then rounding out the list is an invasion host. It has a squad of slayers in a marauder that has a vampire attached to it and two reaver gunships. Yep. And for the vampire, we are also mm -hmm. proxying him today. This little minder is going to be upgraded and turned into a vampire. So that is the forces of the scourge. Next up, we have the forces of the PHR. Uh, we have switched our paint scheme up a bit. So they are all just worked up to their white right now but uh we're getting back into them so we're giving them a new paint scheme um for our command group we have a zeus with a uh, level three commander and an odin they will be riding together in a neptune uh, we have two uh different uh battle pantheons the first one has two aries in a neptune and a second squad of two aries in a neptune uh, the second battle pantheon is two Phobos. They are also in a Neptune. Um, for our uh, Pegasus group, we have uh, four Mercury drones, which are in uh, two of their Tritons. They have the Skyhammer missiles and the twin missile batteries. Um, and they also have two stands of Sirens that will be riding around in a Triton in their group. Uh, my first infantry group is two groups of two uh, stands of Immortals. They are each in Tritons, and uh, they have a squad of Helios riding with them with uh, a Neptune. Um, my second infantry group is two stands of Immortal AM snipers. No, no war gear there. Let's see if we can get a focus here again. There we go. And uh, then for my oh, and I forgot with my command, I also have two stands of Valkyries, and the Valkyries are riding in a Triton as well. So you have seen the armies, and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the mail. Rolls to an end. Uh, the Scourge won the initiative and decided to be gentlemen. Let the PHR go first. Um, PHR started things off with their Pegasus battle group. We brought the sirens on here into this building um, and deployed the Mercury drones here to cover this little bubble of buildings. Um, the Scourge answered with their first infantry group, which dropped here into this central structure. Um, the PHR response was snipers, which came here into the high rise. Start looking for uh, intel and get a high point. Uh, the Scourge came back with their second infantry group. One group of infantry deployed into this structure. The second one deployed here in the backfield. Um, PHR next activated AA walkers. We brought the Phobos squad on here and dumped them out. Their stealth missiles fired at this building, but did no damage. Um, the Scourge answered was standard. Um, we, they moved up uh, both units from that standard here into the center of the table. Uh, PHR went ahead and escalated that, um, brought their, or well, first brought their infantry in. Uh, we dropped the two stands of Immortals here, and then we took, brought the uh, um, Helios in on this flank here to join in, on, in the action in the center. Uh, response from the Scourge was for their second standard battle group, which brought on the Reapers here and the Hunters here to the outside flank. Uh, the PHR's next activation was the Anti-Tank Walkers. The first group of Ares dropped here next to their Phobos brothers, and the second block came in here to support the Helios because of all the armor coming in on this flank. Uh, Scourge activated Command next, brought on their um, leader here, along with the Prowlers who shot up 30 inches to here. Uh, next up to end the turn for the PHR was Command. We brought the Zeus and the Odin on here, and we brought the, um, where did we put the Valkyries? Up here. They shot up here and took this central structure. Scourge finished things off with their heavy choice. Um, they brought their Slayers on here behind the central building and brought their, uh, gunships on back there. They fired here, did seven points, and connected three times with masonry. Uh, worried we were going to take some serious casualties. Two twos and a one later, we are down two Valkyries. So uh, that is the end of turn one. We're going to dice for initiative now. We are both command value three. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, PHR have a three. 
and the Scourge have a six. So Scourge will have initiative, and we will be back following and turn two. Two rolls to an end. The Scourge won initiative this turn and started things off with their standard. They dropped their uh, Reapers and their Hunters here in the back behind the building. Um, the PHR responded with infantry. Um, we looked here, found two, two points. Uh, one team of Immortals got in their transport and started up in this direction. The other team moved over here and direct, embar direct embarked into this building. Uh, their Helios moved up here and uh, shot, knocked down both of the uh, intruders. Uh, we destroyed three of the uh, Prowlers out of one, and the other one took no damage. Um, Scourge responded with their heavies. Uh, they dropped their Slayers here in the street um, and moved their gunships up. The gunships fired on the Helios to no effect. Uh, scored three hits but got no damage through and uh, the Slayers dropship fired there as well hit and scored no damage uh, PHR responded with snipers. They found a point in their building and then took the wall fired shots down range Into the three Reapers scored two hit, scored four hits each squad and both rolled a six shape charged out two of the Reapers um, The scourge then activated their second standard brought their uh, hunters up and dropped them here in the street and their Reapers landed back here behind this building um, the, uh, dropship fired here, did a couple more points of damage, but no falling masonry to the Valkyries. And, uh, this dropship, uh, fired at the snipers building, caused two damage points and killed two of the snipers. Uh, the PHR responded with their Pegasus group. Uh, we fired from here before we re-embarked and moved. Uh, fired two Skyhammer missiles, which each destroyed a hunter. Uh, and the stealth missile batteries did no damage to the third hunter. We then picked up and moved these uh, drones over here and dropped them off once more. Uh, other part of that group was the sirens. They found a point in their building and then peeled off back here. They are in the transport that's on top of this building. Uh, the scourge then activated command, uh, brought their uh, prowlers over a little closer to the helios for next turn, and brought their commander around this flank. Uh, PHR activated their anti-tank walkers. We played a experimental gyros here on this squad to move them five inches. Move the other squad up here. This squad scored two hits and cored the first slayer. Their dropship fired on the prowlers to no effect. Uh, dropship from the second group fired on the prowlers as well, doing nothing. And then the two Ares fired and cored the second slayer, knocking both of them out. Um, the Scourge responded to that with their infantry. Uh, scored a point back here and moved over. And scored a point back in the corner and moved over. Uh, PHR then activated their anti-air walkers, moved the two Phobos up. They fired at this empty dropship and inflicted one damage point. Uh, finally, the Scourge activated their other infantry, um, who, to add insult to injury for the turn, blew the building up under themselves, killed two of their number, and then moved over here. Or one of their number, rather. They moved over here. Uh, the PHR finished things off with their command. The Zeus and the Odin moved over and fired. The Zeus missed. And the Odin destroyed one of the Prowlers, and their dropship finally killed the final survivor from this other squad. Uh, Valkyries finished things off for that group by finding a point here and jumping to the next building, and their dropship moved 20 inches into the backfield there. So that is the end of turn two. Um, at this point, it is one, two, three, four, five, five points for the PHR and two points for the Scourge. We will uh, roll for initiative and then head into turn three. So for the Scourge, or for the PHR rather, we have a three, and the Scourge have a five. I am holding a command card to let me re-roll at a five, so we're going to give that a second go. With a three, I will have an eight, so he'll need a five to catch me, and he does not. So PHR will have first activation, and we will be back following we turn started three. turn three. You saw we rolled a central HQ directive. Uh, the PHR then won the initiative. Uh, for their first activation, they found another point here and then slid the infantry across into this structure uh, and then dropped the second team of Immortals up here. Uh, the other part of that battle group was, of course, the Helios. They moved up here into the street and fired and downed both of the Reavers. Um, at that point, the Scourge are going to go ahead and call it. Um, they've just taken more damage than they can recover from, and their infantry are just too, too few in number to bring the points back. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, we will have after action reviews and army lists at the blog as always. Uh, give us a like on Facebook and a subscription on YouTube if you'd like to see more. That's the best way to see our new content as it comes out. Um, as always, guys, thank you for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.